So the bead roll machine has a quick release that, that allows the um, dies to be changed. So all of these different dies and different attachments can go on there depending on what, what bead you want to do. There's the little joggle bead that's just a, it's a 90 by 90 by 90. And so it just does a little tiny recess in there. And that would be nice on the edge of a panel where you're recessing one into the other to get the material on the edges just to be sitting down into a little bead. So that's easy enough, it's self-explanatory. There's a Allen wrench right there, sets up doing the uh, different dies in and out. This one has a rubber on the bottom at the moment with just a tipping die, which is what you're gonna be using for the scoop. And so as you come in, you're just going to pull it down you're going to adjust your pressure as you come down. Everything's dropping in. There's a switch for forward and reverse on the side here. So changing the direction forward and aft makes the different directions going for the different side to side. And as you tip, you're just using very slight pressure. You're just going to run across that. You don't want to overdo it. You just want enough to uh, to tip it each time, but as you can see, it tips it over nicely, keeps it nice and smooth. It doesn't cut into the metal because it's a rubber based on the bottom, so it's ideal for tipping flanges and not thinning out the metal. So I had a little bit of side English to it. So in a lot of the machines, I use English when I'm doing shaping or doing the pulling over or doing whatever it might be. Same thing with the bead roll, a little bit of uh, help if the material is pre-shaped, it's going to follow the return. But once you get to edges like here, where you're pulling this up, you want to come fairly even, pull a flange up. You get to this point here, you want to release a little bit, and then you want to come over that, because you don't want to try and tip that flange up uh, too much, because you're going to have to come in, and you're going to have to stretch. So once you're doing the stretching on the flange, that allows this flange to stretch upwards. So on the flats, it's not a problem. Um, on radiuses, you're going to have to. So where you come into doing um, your uh, inner arches, you're going to be using a rubber wheel to tip that over, and you're going to do a, a small amount, and then you're going to have to shrink and stretch to adjust that to bring that flange up and over. So let's go over to the shrink, shrink and stretch.